Hey there, friends. Now, today I want to show you a few things that I've done. One is I decided to go and upgrade for diamond stuff. However, enchanting the tools and stuff, that's going to take a little while because I have really not gotten any good ones. I think I got a decent pick with fortune on it, which was great. But the axe and shovel really didn't give me much. It just really didn't give me much. So I've been working on the bridge over here and I finished off part of it. Hello, Snow, my old friend. I will say that I do like this look with the cap or the roof on it. I think it looks pretty good. The design is, as, as mentioned before, very simple. I'm not going for anything complex or super duper crazy. But I do think this works really well. And I was debating about either continuing it just like this with the uncovered part and the torches, or doing something to where I put a, a uh, roof over it, like I have there, and just continue that all the way through. Not exactly sure just yet, but this part I'm definitely going to be putting a roof on. So I did finish the... Oops, I finished all of this, putting the arches and whatnot through it. Which really didn't take too long. Now I just need to get all of the fence posts, which are going to take a lot more. Because you not only have all the ones going down the sides, you have all the ones connecting the roof. And for structural reasons, I'll probably have one on each, just to continue it all the way through. And then when we get down to here, this is what I was kind of thinking of literally just tunneling through the mountain. I think it would be kind of cool. We can kind of push this back to make it less of a, just a wall. Maybe continue this going all the way down, continue a roof and everything going through the mountain all the way to the other side. I think that would not be a bad idea. I don't think there's anything super crazy through here. Okay, it's a bit longer than I thought. <laughs> so, and then if we were to continue straight through here, I think just going straight would be kind of interesting. Yeah, and the desert's right there. So we would come out just over here. But we could also cut through there, get over to about... Maybe where this tree is at, and then do a turn and then go through the mountain, through the little two peaks there, into the desert. I think that would be kind of cool. But basically, I have a lot of wood to farm before I can get there, as well as a lot of stone. And just, yeah, there's a lot to farm. But overall, I do like how it looks, and I think it'll work quite well. It'll be a little different than what I had originally thought, but I do like that idea. And we can always decorate the tunnel a bit differently. Maybe add a few things in there that I'm not thinking of at the moment. But, but I do love how this looks. And I think once I get the roof on, it'll look just even better. But I need to farm a lot more jungle wood, which I thought I had, but I, I don't. So jungle wood is going to be top priority for farming. And then throughout this episode, we'll definitely be getting this together and getting a roof on this. And I'll be kind of debating on if I want to do anything through here or just keep it really simple with the torches and stuff. Because part of me wants to do a roof and whatnot going through, but doing diagonal roofing, not exactly sure how good I'll be at that. But I do just love how this looks. It looks great. <laughs> And then there is something I did in the nether to show you real quick. Now it is on peaceful, that way I don't cry when they destroy something that I d worked hard on. Especially when it involves a freaking circle. I finally got the circle made. It took quite a bit of trial and error, and I had to bust into my little display over here. Which kind of sucked, but that is just how it is. So the next step is building up the walls of this, and I think we're going to continue this pattern of having the sandstone down the middle with the stone on the outside. I need to figure out if the pattern that I have here will work for going this way because I want to make sure the pattern doesn't get totally interrupted by going to this portal, which is to the desert. But otherwise, this is obviously going to be a just whenever I can work on it and then show you the progress, and then we'll do a little bit on camera here and there, so. Nothing too crazy here, this will just be one that slowly gets ticked away. 
But I'll need to take out all this cobble, replace it with the sandstone, which I'm going to be just destroying that desert. It's going to be a good time. And that's pretty much all I've done here. Nothing too special. Just made a circle, but circles are really annoying to make. At least to me. I've never been the greatest at actually making the circles. Now there is a couple of things I want to get done today. I want to add some more redstone-ness around the area. I might try and figure out how to make this a little nicer. But the main thing is I want to add a door down here, because I've been... I've had two creepers come up behind me when I'm just standing here looking through my chest and blow up behind me. Which is not cool. They injured the doggies. We can't have that. That's just rude. Next, I do want to figure out some sort of pattern or something for this area. Now, I do like the nether brick. I think it I think it works in this case. I'm not sure if I want to continue that down here or if I want to kind of merge it with another one and have it taper off. I think that might be kind of cool. But I do want to have some connectivity to this area over here. But the main thing is kind of some more redstone stuff. So I haven't done quite a lot with the redstone. And before we actually get to the redstone update, which is coming up in the next update, I would like to have a few more redstone bits figured out. Because, well, we don't have a lot. We have this little farm, which is great. And we have this door, which is also great. Oh yeah, we should kind of figure out a design for this area, huh? <laughs> There's so many things. And yeah, I just want to kind of get a few more redstone bits figured out here. Because I just think it'd be fun. Oh, they blew up that part. Okay. Oh yeah, I had those stairs up there thinking that they might look okay, but I don't think I like them up there. So, we'll probably take those down. But I think the first thing would be to wire up this door over here. As well, I very much would like to have it wired. Now, we're not going to have it go up and down like this one. We're going to have it go side to side. Well, side to side just meaning pull to the side. So, nothing too crazy. The good thing is that with my building of the redstone room downstairs, I have very much been... Did I not have... Oh, I have repeaters. I've been very much doing crafting of the redstone, so I should have plenty of things. Really should only need this, right? Yeah, repeaters, pistons, yeah. Maybe torch, yeah. So we're probably going to need to put it back here. So right there. Now the question is, will I remember exactly how to do this? The answer is probably no. That does that. Okay, so that power is the one above it. Perfect. And then we need to run a... Hang on. I do eventually want to change out all the stuff I'm using for the redstone blocks, or for the redstone stuff, to the smooth stone, but that comes much later. Much later. I think in the village and pillage update. We need to dig down a bit. Okay. And replace. Alright, so if we just get the... We can get the guts. That will be okay. Put that there. We're going to need a repeater to delay it a touch. Maybe like a tick. And let's get, let's say right there. No, we want it further. I want it right there. What we want to do is go here, down, and to right there. Okay, so you'd want the repeater to delay right there. Perfect. Put a tick. Put that. Fantastic. So simple. So easy. Okay, can I put a block right there and it still works? Yes, okay. I thought I could since it's not cutting off the redstone at all, but you never know nowadays. 
Okay, but the only problem... Can I put it? Yeah, I should put it right there. Ha! Ah, beautiful. Okay. Then the second is going to go right... How many blocks away is that? Two blocks. So about here. And we will do the same thing and connect into the line. But we need to go back one. I am wrecking all of this. That's fine. We're creators. We have to destroy to create or something. I don't know. All right, so now. Uh, put one tick. Yes. Okay. Or should we have a button on one side and a pressure plate on the other? I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't think it really matters to have it double trigger. But it's just more of an annoyance. Because there is the T flip flop. But I would need to go down and check it out and kind of mess around with it to see exactly how to do that. But I think that's what we might do. So if we were to hide this like that. Do that. Perfect. Okay. And then hide this. Okay. So let's head down to the redstone room and do some experimenting. I guess the only thing I'm not getting is how this helps with... Okay, so let's do some testing before I just stand here like an idiot and just stare at it. Okay, so if we were to do... I'm curious if this would work on just a regular one one by 2 door. I honestly don't know if it would or not. So it powers that block, and it depowers it, because that powered that, okay. Now I know... I understand the idea. Now, hang on. I think I get it. In my head, I think it makes sense, but at the same time, uh, not really. Okay, so we put that there. Just say we put that there. Does that change anything? Oh, okay. So that powers that block. Wait, wait, wait. I might have something. The old tickers are going. So if it powers, say this, that, this, you would put one right there? Does that do it? No, so you would need something here. But then you would need... Okay. Some pro redstoners watching this and thinking, oh god, you idiot. And that's totally fine. We don't want that, do we? I don't think we'd want it to go like that. What if you do this? <gasps> oh my gosh. I did something. Holy Toledo, I actually did something. Okay, but the only problem is that it goes off a little delayed. So if we were to... Okay. I'm sure there's a way to make it smaller and more compact, but we're not focused on that right now. I'm learning something. Okay, so we push this out a little more. And then we put... 
say that right there? No. Pretty sure you would still need that to be put into the block. Then be here and here. You put that there. Because if you do that, continue that, and do that. So we put two there. Holy Toledo, I did something! Oh my sweet good golly gosh. Okay, so... We're, we're figuring something out, man. We're figuring out. I'm so excited right now. So if we put one there... We put one... Trap door over here. And if we say connect... Connect it with the redstone. I'm far too excited for this. My voice doesn't show it, but I'm very excited about this. Okay, up here. Alright, so if you do that... Put that there. Okay, so it doesn't power that. So what you would need... It doesn't go directly into it. So what if you do this? What if you put a repeater that goes into this block? Would that work? No. Okay. It it lit up though. That's something. It needs to go and power that block. I was hoping that it could power that. That's not gonna work. If you do this, nope. Okay. Does that not power the block to the side of it? Only on top of it, and if it's on the block. Okay. So let's take this. Put something there. This is incredibly absurd, but I'm just trying to test some sort of theory that I may or may not have. Oh, oh my gosh, I figured something out. Okay, 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 okay. I would say I'm sorry right now, but I'm definitely not. Uh, so you put that into that. Does that double power anything? Oh, say what? Oh, that's great. Okay. So you do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know this is not in any way some sort of big news to people, but this is awesome. So if we push this back just a touch, probably what, to like right here? That's the wrong thing. Maybe to right here. Then we fill all this in. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, I love it. So if I understand it correctly, this redu re reduces. This does a one tick pulse. which allows that to be pushed over to here. Yeah. Okay, so... This sends a signal through the redstone, which powers the block, which then powers the repeater, which sends it to the piston, which... sticky piston. So then it sends the one tick pulse, which lets the sticky piston let go of the block, which then the redstone torch powers the block. I'm gonna put out this fire. And then that powers this, and then that powers the rest of it. Okay. I think I get it. <laughs> oh, this is awesome.
Okay, cool. We put that there, just walk on through, and it closes behind us. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Well, I know what we're going to be putting down. And now we just need to figure out how to use that with a 3x3. That is going to be an adventure. Now, I honestly have no idea exactly how to uh, combine this to a 3x3, other than just a lot of finagling, which is what we're going to be doing. But let's see if we can put this on one of the doors, and then kind of just go from there. So now I want to have a 3x3 door into the redstone area. And the thing is, is that we have this up here that we'll probably fill in. But we have two entrances. We have this one right off the hallway leading to the skelly spawner. But then we have this one over here, which is directly into the skelly spawner. So right over here. Now I definitely want to have some kind of cooler entrance redstone-ness for these, since it's to the redstone room. And a 3x3 door, maybe something else if we can think of something. But, ah uh, yes, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so let's go and try and add the T flip-flop onto the door up top. Alright, so if we can hide the E flip flop back here, this should work out okay. Alright, so for starters, we got the one right here. Redstone dust into a sticky piston, which has one right there. But we need to grab another sticky piston. I make all of my... Yes, okay. We are going to need to do some crafting. Alrighty. Then we got one more going this way. Oh, we got a repeater. Continuing that. And we got one going right here, which goes into this block. And then you've got the torch going into redstone dust, like that. All right. So in theory, from here it should be pretty simple. So you want to have the repeater directly connected into that. And then we're going to have our pressure plate probably right here. Fantastic. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. So, and then I need to feed this redstone line over to this one. Which shouldn't... Which shouldn't be that hard, honestly. And in theory, that should still work the same. Right? Perfect. Oh, yes. And then you step on this one and close it. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's too beautiful. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, that's... I love it. It's definitely a lot nicer than than having to worry about getting crushed by the doors. However, I'm going to keep this one as it is, and keep that one. 
you know, a little bit of history. Not much history, but some. Uh, that's added in there. Obviously, the decoration of it will be in the future. I'm not too worried about it right now. I just wanted to get it in there just to feel accomplished a little bit. So seeing as how this video is getting on a bit long, I figure we would end off with getting as much of this put up as we can for the roof. Like I say, I don't have a whole lot of jungle at all. I've used it. Well, I've used pretty much all of it on the previous roof. So that's where it's pretty much all gone. Oh, and then we need to put rails all along here. Now in the future, I definitely want to put lanterns hanging from the roof. I think that'll be a cool effect. But for right now, we're just going to go with torches on the sides of top of the fences. However, I was thinking about doing glowstone in the roof. I don't exactly know how good that'll look. Maybe if we surround it by trap doors, that might be an option. But for now, I'm just going to stick with the torches. I need a lot of these, so I really don't want to waste any of the fence posts. Now, in between episodes, I'll be working on designs and whatnot for the different areas. I do want to put something better around the redstone. Well, around a lot of things. I don't just want to have stone brick for everything, but stone brick is such a good looking block. It's hard not to just use that all the time. Alright, now I just need to double check. I think it's the spruce slabs on the outside, and then jungle, and then spruce on top. If I remember correctly, which it looks like I do. Yes, okay. And I have more spruce than I do jungle, so... Oh, this is going to be a lot. How did I think that that many spruce planks was going to be enough? What made me think that? So I did want to try something real quick. I grabbed some glowstone. Right where that would be. So it should be right there. Do that. That was okay. It'd be better if I could put it on the bottom, I think, but I'm going to put a couple in here just for testing purposes. Whoa. Hang on. And I don't have a silk touch. Rookie move. Rookie move. So future me will have to grab that, not present me. Oh yeah, it gives plenty of light, jeez. Okay, so let's just space these out every other one. Again, I'm not totally sold on it, because I definitely have the idea of lanterns in my head. But, yeah, we're not getting those for a while. So, gotta make do with what we got. That right there, this should be right here, okay. Now we'll have those there, and then what we'll do is we'll put torches the rest of the way, but we'll do what I was originally thinking. Okay, so we would need one right here. We put one right there, does it match? Yes, okay. So we can skip. Actually, I probably should double check that, huh? Yep, doesn't go below seven, so. Actually doesn't even hit seven. That is perfect. And then for this one, what we may do is just add on to this. I don't have the proper things to do what I wanted to do, but what we will do, 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 just to get symmetry. Okay. And then we will carry this on. Okay. And then for a placeholder, we'll just put some dirt right here. And we'll put those on top, just like that. We need to bring it out just a couple more. Naughty zombie. Stay away from me. Thank you. Okay. So now all along here, there shouldn't be anything dipping below seven, really. 
or nine from the looks of it. Or eight. Nope. Awesome. Okay. Well, I am tickled pink with this. I do... I think those will grow on me. But yeah, just need to grab some more trap doors to put there. But either way, I think that's going to do it for today. I got a little carried away with the T-flip-flop. T-flip-flop and figuring it out and all that fun jazz. But hopefully you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Do take care of yourself. Thank you for watching.